on guys, it's Brando Linux here and welcome to the video, welcome to the conversation today. Uh, we'll be talking about how much can you make from a dry cleaning business, you know, how much can a dry cleaning business make in uh, a sense, I guess you could say. And the reason why I want to cover this is because you're searching for it, but not just that. It's important to know if you're looking at a business, the potential you can make from it and the amount of leverage you can create. Um, you know, a lot of people, uh, having seen them get involved in uh, dry cleaning businesses over the last three years, having started a lot of different types of businesses throughout that time, uh, having seen them get started in a business, all right, dry cleaning business, and literally just create a headache for themselves dealing with, you know, employees, equipment, supplies, it really narrows down some people's all right, incomes when it comes to this. And the reason is, is because the overhead associated with it doesn't allow them to stretch themselves to go out there and franchise the business, which is really what's gonna make you the most amount of money. If you wanna make a lot of money in a dry cleaning business, the amount that you make is really based upon how you build the business and how you start it off. All right, if you start it off yourself and it's just you and you have no employees, the chances of you making money, you know, really quickly and growing your business really quickly, which is what every business owner, you know, including yourself, if you're looking at this as a business, uh, should want to do. All right, you don't want to take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years to grow the business. And uh, that's because if it's based on yourself, that means you are building a business that is self-producing, meaning it's based on your self-production and when you're not producing, your income and your business stops. It's not a good way to build a business. So you gotta have an idea and a way, <coughs> if you wanna make a lot of money, to take yourself out of the equation and still be able to maintain business, but not only that, to grow it. And honestly, it's kind of complex, it's kind of compli complicated. And uh, if you're looking at this because you want to make a business that's lucrative, you want to get involved in a business that you can create time, freedom, flexibility, and continually grow it without you having to babysit it all the time, <laughs> all right, without you having to be, to be a slave to it all the time, the best tip I could give you, all right, if you're looking at this to be your own boss, to do those things, is actually to start an online business. And if you hear me out here for a minute, uh, my experience with this over the last 13 months was when I transitioned from a traditional brick and mortar business, dealing with all that overhead. And I'll just tell you, it was a crazy headache. <laughs> it was kind of a mess. And I'm just going to have a sip of coffee here. Pardon me. And, uh, you know, there's some points and periods of time where I was actually paying. <laughs> employees, pardon me, uh, more than I was getting paid. And I transitioned from that uh, to an internet business where I wasn't dealing with supplies, equipment, inventory, all right, all the things that would be associated with the dry cleaning business. And uh, because of that, my profits were a lot higher. I came across this person who was building uh, a high multiple six-figure business online and traveling a lot at the time. And because they didn't have that overhead, I started to uh, copy them. And in a period of two and a half weeks, was able to create those results, which was, uh, you know, the outcome of a full-time business working part-time online. And haven't looked back since. Obviously, those aren't average or typical results. I won't tell you that an online business is the only way to go because that would be a bunch of BS. But if you want to make a very profitable business, a very lucrative business, all right, a easy to grow business, not saying that there's no work required, of course there's work required, you got to learn some things, but an easy to grow business in the sense where you don't have to deal with supplies, equipment, and the overhead of tens of th hundreds of thousands of dollars. The best thing you could do is learn the skills required to build an online business. And if you're following me here and you want to learn how to do that, if you're coachable and trainable and you've got that drive, Check out my site. It's 123marketingtips.com. I'll put a link down below in the description. You'll see a video there from myself and my partner explaining to you in step-by-step -step detail how you can do this to literally not just get the results that you want without being a slave to your computer or your business by having a life at the same time, uh, but also how you can get an online business up and off the ground in the next couple days, all right? We'll share with you how to do that. And then after that, you'll see testimonials from people who I personally work with who've had no business experience whatsoever, some of them, and uh, they're making like the first $200 a day profit their very first day. It, it's out of this world. You, it's just, it's crazy stuff. It's not average or typical. <laughs> and like I said, these people, uh, they put in work. They had to learn some things, but if you're not afraid of that, I'll see you on the other side. Most importantly, I'll see you on the beaches of the world. Take care.